I was really lucky that I got sent to Mrs. Carroll's Pine Forest when I was 10 and it was there that I first discovered uh, clay and throwing on the wheel and discovered that I had a passion for it then and it's a passion that's always stayed with me. I think my work is admired by all age groups, men and women, and everybody finds something beautiful to see in it. And as one lady described it when she was holding it, as the brilliance of the unexpected, that you just never know what you're going to see as you turn each piece. Clay, flame and glazes have been my canvas and it's always been exciting for me to create dynamic fluid shapes to enhance and complement those energies all fusing together in the kiln. Anybody who's working as a potter is ultimately going to have their own soul reflected in their work. In my case, I wanted the energy of a reduction atmosphere, which is a gas-fired kiln, fired to porcelain temperatures, with rutiles, coppers, iron, all fusing together and volatilizing to give an unpredictable, but very shiny, high gloss finish. Um, and that's something that I've been developing over a very, very long time to get the reds and the blues and the greens just crisp and fluid with an incredible depth. What I love about working with ceramics is the unpredictability and never knowing the outcome ultimately of the work that you're doing today and the magical type of alchemy that that raw clay goes through from the beginning of the process right through all the stages of throwing it on a wheel and letting it dry properly, firing it, decorating it and firing it again. And every week having that experience when you come in to open the kiln door and it's like Christmas morning because you just never know what's going to be inside. And sometimes it's just amazing and sometimes it's quite painful. But it's always, always exciting. <laughs>